Nitrato server, VPP admin tools for PC DayZ. This works. This is the second video I made, and this time I know it works. I've gone step by step. Follow along with me and let's get it going. Let's go. All right, so it's a brand new server, Nitrato DayZ PC server. I did a, a reinstall here, um, and then I waited about 20 minutes and then I stopped the server. So the uh, server stopped. Then I came to settings, general. And I gave my server a name here and a password. And then I came down here and I did save changes. And that is it. So now we are ready for the next phase. I'm going to test that in the Daisy community launcher and see if we can find it. All right. So first problem, as is very common, uh, looked in the community tab, could not find my server, Toronto. So what did I do? I came down to direct connect. And as you all know, this is finicky, but I got it to work. And here's how I did it came to the IP, I copied it, but I noticed that the game port is at the end. So they've tacked on the game port. So if you come to the Daisy launcher and you say direct connect and you type in that and just say go, it will not work. What you want to do is copy this last bit, copy that, put it there and then erase it till there. You see that? And now when you direct connect, it should work. So that's what just got me into the server. So uh, I'm going to check if this works and then I'm going to uh, sign out, stop the server and we will proceed. All right, here I am. It is nighttime. It does look like the server is working and I guess I am the only one on. So uh, I will sign out now. So you're going to stop the server and you're going to wait for a few minutes. First thing we're going to do is come to the Daisy page in Steam and we're going to come over here to the workshop area. We're going to click on that and we're going to type in the mods that you need. So the first one is Community Framework, type in CF. We're looking for this one from Jacob Mango. So you want to click that, click subscribe, make sure you're subscribed. We're going to click the back button and we're going to look for the VPP admin tools. So VPP and the one you want is this one by Dub one VPP admin tools. Make sure you are subscribed. And we launch the Daisy Launcher, come to mods, find those, uh, for example, CF and VPP admin, either one. Right click and say open folder. It's going to give you a warning not to mess with them. That's fine. All we're going to do is copy them and paste them to the server. So here they are. These are on our local machine. And next we are going to boot up an FTP manager like FileZilla and copy these in. All right. So here we go. I'm going to boot up FileZilla. And you see we need the host username and password. So we're going to come back to our browser. We're going to scroll down on our dashboard. Come down here, I'm going to copy this little button to copy the host name. And I'm going to do that for the next four, and then I'll be right back. All right, copy pasted those four in there. I'm going to click Quick Connect, and you will see the server that, remember, we stopped earlier. It's going to show up here on the right. So here we are. Here's the top level, Daisy standalone. And now we are going to bring in the mods. So uh, this folder here that we found via the launcher by coming to mods and right clicking on any of those, the VPP admin mods, open folder, etc. We're going to copy that file path, control C, come to FileZilla, and we're going to paste the file path here. Right? So this folder is the same as this folder. So we're going to, I'm going to click on uh, CF, community framework, control click on VPP admin tools. I'm going to drag those over here let go to upload them to the server. So this is basically the same files. And next we're going to copy over the keys. You notice on the main server, we have a folder called keys and it's only the main Daisy key. Well, we're going to come to VPP admin tools, keys folder and drag over the VPP key. That's going to upload. I'm going to go up one, um, Okay, I got a little bit lost here, so I'm going to paste in the link again to this folder. If you lost, you can just copy that and paste it in there again. And uh, we're missing the community framework key, so click on that, click on that. And it's the Jacob Mango key, version 3. So we're going to upload that. So we're getting close here. Now we have to tell the server um, that we are going to load those mods when it starts. So what are we going to do? We're going to come here. We're going to come to our settings, general settings. Going to wait a moment. We're going to enable expert mode. And that will allow us to see this thing down here where it says 
additional mods. If we hadn't enabled expert mode, we, we would not have seen that. Now, note for you, if you didn't name your server before, this will disappear. And, and I think you have to name your server in some text files somewhere. But um, no matter. So here we go. So we're going to say uh, additional mods. We're going to enable at CF. That's for community framework. Semicolon next mod at VPP admin tools. Make sure you spell this absolutely correctly. Um, if you're unsure, come back to the folder and look at them at VPP admin tools, etc. Okay, so again, I'm going to uh, save my settings down here. Now, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to start the server again and we're going to stop the server. And hopefully, that will create under this VPP admin tools a folder with permissions that will allow us to say who's going to have access to the mod. So let's try that. I'm going to start the server. Um, coming back to dashboard, we've saved those settings. I'm going to start it. I'll wait five minutes. I'll stop it. I'll come back and we'll go from there to see if the permissions have been created. All right, so we are rolling now. I have stopped the server and I've come over to FileZilla. Now keep in mind, it's actually not in VPP admin tools. You need to come down to config, double click that. And then we want to look under VPP admin tools under config. We want to look for the permissions folder. So the first thing we want to do is click on super admins and we want to double click that double clicking on the admins to download it. It's going to overwrite this local file. That's fine. And what you need to do is you need to get your Steam 64 ID. And you see here, I click right click open. And it's going to give you the, the direction. So here's how you find your Steam 64 ID. Come to your Steam profile, view my profile, right click on it and say copy page URL. Then you want to go to the internet and say Steam 64 lookup or, or something like that. I'm going to paste that lookup. And you see here, Steam 64 ID. That's what you copy right there. So we're going to come back to that text file and we're going to delete all this and we're just going to say put it there. So if you want to have your friend also have access to the mod, paste their Steam ID in there, etc. Okay, we saved that. Then in FileZilla, we've saved it. We're going to upload that on top of overwrite the old one. Getting very, very close here. Okay, overwrite. Also in that folder is the credentials. You see this? So we're also going to double click that. And then here we are. We're going to right click and open that. Um, and so I'm going to put my password here. So let's say the password is, let's just call it um, Apple. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to drag that up. I'm going to overwrite it. Remember, when you double click on this side, it downloads it. And here, you don't want to double click to re upload it. You want to right click, open with in your text editor. So this should say Apple now that that's, that's the password. And I believe that is all we need to do. So I'm going to uh, just go over that quickly again. You should have uploaded the mods here. You should have put the keys uh, in your keys folder. You should have all of this. In the Nitrato, you should have come down to Settings General and enabled Expert Mode, and then come down and tagged CF. This spelled, spelled correctly. Then you wanted to go to your dashboard, start the server, stop the server. Then you want to come to the main Daisy standalone folder and not look in VPP admin tools, but come down to config, then VPP admin tools, then permissions, then super admins to put your Steam 64 ID and um, the passwords under credentials by downloading them, editing them, uploading them. All right. So we should be good to go here. I'm going to start the server. Okay, server has been started. So we're going to copy that IP address in case we can't find the server here. Surprise, surprise, we can't. We say direct connect, we're going to paste that IP in there. Remember, we're going to take off these last few numbers. That's the port, and we're going to paste those there. We're going to take off that colon. I'm going to say connect. And I think it's going to ask to set up the mods. These two, yes, they are already downloaded. OK, so this is my password. What was it? OK, that's the server password. It's not the. Uh, VPP admin tools and hey, we are looking good here. So 
Let me allow this server to boot up, and uh, I'll see you here in a moment. Okay, here we are. That glow stick is still here, and good news, it worked. Now, the way we're going to enable it is we're going to press the end key to turn on the VPP admin tools. Notice we have that password, so you remember I entered it was Apple. We're going to say OK. And now I have, act, uh, I have been successfully authenticated as the admin. That was because of the Steam 6.4 ID. So the way we toggle the mod on is by pressing the end key. And you can see that it's on or off. And then once it is on or off, the way we bring up the interface is the home key. See that? So that is the toggle for the home key. All right. That was pretty much it, but I will just show you a few basic functionalities here if you want to know them. So first thing we're going to do is uh, let's change the time of day because it's kind of dark. So we're going to go weather editor. We'll change the hour from, what is that, from 21. Change the hour from 21 to let's make it 09 AM. We're going to click apply. And let's wait for a second here. Do, 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 do. OK, see that? So now it is daytime. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to press that home key again, and we're going to spawn an item. So uh, let's, as in my last video, let's spawn a cola. Now, when you double click on it, by default, it will spawn to your inventory. I should also warn you, you see these things overlap. So the UX is a little weird. but um, okay, so you see here, spawn in inventory is the default. So if I press my tab key, you see I, I have my cola. Another option is to, again, pressing the home key, you could spawn on ground. So if we do colas now, you'll see that it's spawned on the ground. And a good one to know is to spawn at cursor if, for example, you want to spawn a car. So home key, uh, let's filter a little bit here. By transport, we'll do a sedan. And if you do it at ground, you might get trapped in it. So I'm going to say at crosshair, here you go, uh, sedan. And there it is. Press escape to get back to it, and you're rolling. So, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, geez, I got to tell you, it took me so much time and. Uh, it drove me crazy, so I hope it doesn't drive you crazy, and I hope you can get it working. Okay, let me know if you have questions, and I'll do my best to answer. Also, big thanks to the people from my last video who corrected some of the order that I got uh, wrong. So, Okay, I'll see you all later. Bye. Oh. All right, one last thing is if you want to go into free cam mode to fly around the map, you want to press the backspace key on your keyboard, the backspace key. And what that will do is it will allow you to then leave the character and fly around the map. Look at that. And then to go back to your character, you just press the backspace key again, and it snaps back. OK, that is it. Let me know if you get on. I really appreciate your comments. Like, subscribe, follow. If you have tips on other videos you want to see, um, I'd love to build up the channel. So please, uh, starting small, and, and I could really use your help. Thank you so much. Bye. No brain knocked off. Man, fake running into the You get your brain in this one. Oh, hey, are you still here? Okay, I'm just like flying around here having some fun in the backspace. It looks like the mouse wheel will speed up the rate of camera speed. You see that? So forward mouse and backward mouse. Uh, the Q key seems to go up and then shift is a boost. So you want to do like fly throughs of the Northwest airfield or something. Here you go. Yeah. It's really cool. Love that.